Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP ProBook 445G7 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the storage or add an additional storage and what are the limits and what are the combination that you can have in here. Just remember by upgrading the main storage on this one, the SSD storage, let's say, the, wherever you have the windows and your data, everything in there. Once you upgrade it on the new drive, there's no OS, there's no Windows or anything like that. I made a really short video, how to create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description. And I made another video, how to install it properly on these laptops. Those links can be found on the video description. And it is really simple, easy to install the Windows. It takes literally five to 10 minutes and few Windows updates and all the drivers are ready set to go. So I don't see a reason why you shouldn't even format it once in a while all right so in this video i'm just going to do a demonstration and the configuration what you should have and at the end of the video i'm going to show you guys how to format it on my next video and all right first thing first you want to back up your files if you want to upgrade the main storage and then you want to make sure to turn it off completely flip it upside down we're going to go over some tools that i'll be using tool number one is an ifix screwdriver set they sell a basic tool set like this one for a screwdriver and they have a pro set. From the basic set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. These are made out of the S2 class steel. That means they're really tough and steel bits. Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, they'll include you with an opening tools and tweezers and suction cup. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers and it will not scratch. All right, with this one hand, we're gonna open up the bottom cover. There's a whole bunch of screws in here. And there are two screws that can be removed completely. Those are the two in the front, one in each corner on the front end of the laptop. So you're gonna remove these two screws and keep them in one pile. All right. Now the middle screw and the back row screws, they have a little C lock on them. That means the screw will not come out entirely. So you pretty much all you need to do is to rotate until you feel it like it's loosened up. So I'm going to keep rotating like a few hundred turns and then I'm going to see like oh, it is loose enough. Don't yank it out, leave it like that. Do that for the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. What you want to do, you want to grab the Laptop from here in this position, you're gonna stick the opening tool or the guitar pick in the front, wherever you wanna start from, about two or three millimeters inward. And then you wanna just twist it like that, people, you wanna lift it up and you wanna hear a triggers clicking. That's what you wanna hear. You wanna work yourself all around in the front. Don't stick the whole guitar pick, just stick about two or three millimeters. All right, and then you wanna work yourself all the way to the back corner. Can even do that back rail right there. There we have it. Now, the cover will not come up still because there's some clips that hold it beside the battery. What you want to do, you want to grab it from here, from the side, and then hold the bottom case and do a tiny yank from this side and tiny yank from the other side sometimes, and it will release these clips on the bottom that holds it from the battery. All right. Now down here, we can see right away, there's a space for a uh, 2.5 inch hard drive and they do nicely give you an adapter for it. So, and they give you a, the part number that you can buy, I hope, I think. Now this is a keyboard. This one is for something else. And these are some other uh, part numbers. So they give you an adapter to put a 2.5 inch so you can grab a solid state drive 2.5 inch and make sure the orientation for the SATA matches the orientation in there. I simply all you want to do is push it in there and then you can put this one right in here and that's it. Just put, make sure the cable is nice and snugly right there and there you have it. For Because this is a solid state drive you don't need to put any caddy for it. You can even use a double-sided tape put it in here so you can grab it so it doesn't make sound wobble around. So 
that's another one to remove it you just pull it out you can put a low profile mechanical drive in here you can up to two terabyte you can grab a mechanical drive two terabyte put it the same connector plug it in there and put it right on top Don't, it only takes a low profile i'll leave the link in the video description i recommend you guys to put a solid state drive a samsung brand samsung evo i'll leave the link in the video description those are really good for extra storage up to two terabyte so you can put a two terabyte ssd two terabyte mechanical drive right in there in here to remove this adapter all you want to do is lift up this lock upward and slide back the adapter so you can keep it outside not keep it in there or just keep it in here so let's leave it outside, leave it outside for now and this laptop does provide you with an m.2 nvme which is much much faster than sata connector which is right in here there's a western digital in here you might have a different brand a different capacity to remove this one also to do this upgrade i'm not disconnecting the battery is absolutely not necessary to do that but if you want to be paranoid and you want to disconnect the battery remove this screw right in here and this screw right over here at the bottom and just lift up from here corner it slowly and then bring your finger across and then lift it up towards the ceiling and pull it toward the back side towards the fan so there's a clip right in here you put it back down put the clip side down put this one on top and slide it down and put the two screws but again for upgrades you do not need as long as you power off the laptop you don't need to disconnect the battery if you do disconnect the battery when you power on it would give you a message saying a cmos reset to default you just have to press enter it's going to restart and it's going to go normal all right to remove this m.2 you want to remove one screw at the back here and right away you can see that this m.2 comes up in 45 degree angle all you want to do you want to grab it in the same 45 degree and pull it backward don't yank it upward and you can grab a two terabyte or m.2 nvme i recommend you the 980 pro samsung these are really durable and reliable you can grab this one it will be the same thing with one notch on them pretty much start the same exactly same thing you want to bring it down make sure the notch matches the notch right in the dim there's a tiny gap in there bring it down in 45 degree inside the jack all the way push it down and hold it right by the screw hole make sure the screw hole is nice and aligned beside the ssd and then you want to put the screw right on top okay then you can put your system OS system in here and have an extra storage in here with no problem. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in. You want to grab the bottom cover, align it straight on, put the back end first in a about 30 degree inside, and then bring it down and then push the corners in the mid those clips and pinch the sides in to the palm rest, the back. Make sure everything is nice. If you see any gap, just pinch them together. And the last thing down here would be to just tighten up the screws in here. Again, I'll make a video how to install your Windows 10 on this laptop. Check those uh, videos in the video description, those links. And if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can.